Hey everybody, Daniel Luke Jones with Warman Residential at Compass here. How you doing? How's your mama and them? I'm here today in Georgetown, arguably DC's most charming neighborhood, and I wanted to take you around and show you some of the things that make it so unique. And then after that, we're gonna check out an often overlooked national memorial that's nearby. So let's go check it out. Founded in 1751 as a port town, Georgetown predates the establishment of the federal district and the city of Washington by 40 years. Renowned for its federalistic architecture and historic row houses, cobblestone streets, and grand estates, some dating back as early as the mid-1700s, Georgetown is also a shopping hub in the city with high-end boutiques and design shops in historic industrial buildings. So just how much are some of these grand estates? With a mixture of condos, detached homes, and row houses in Georgetown, the average price is right over 1.8 million. The Georgetown market saw a record-setting 2020. In July, we had 135 homes listed for sale, the highest in the past five years. And in May, the median days on market was only four days. Next up, I wanted to show you the CNO Canal, or the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal. Construction on the CNO Canal began in 1828 and ended in 1850 and was in operation until 1924. These days, the CNO Canal is maintained by the National Park Service, and its towpath, a walkable path along the Potomac. Truly unlike anything else in the city, it's perfect for getting out and taking a walk, going for a run, or just getting out and enjoying the weather. So just across the Georgetown waterfront, there's an island that's actually a national memorial that gets often overlooked. It's the Theodore Roosevelt Memorial, and I cannot wait to show it to you because I love it. So let's go. So there are three trails on the island, each named after the habitats the designers created. The Swamp Trail, which is the trail we're gonna do, at one and a half miles, this loop trail is the island's longest. It passes through swampy woods and cattail marsh. That's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Georgetown and Theodore Roosevelt Island as much as I did. Let us know what you think in the comments and then stay tuned as me and the rest of the team at Warman Residential show you everything that DC has to offer.